really amazes me, this whole flat earth phenomenon uh, that, that's blowing up, this theory that's just exploded in the alternative research community because a lot of these researchers cite no, they don't cite anybody with a background in, meteor, in meteorology or physics or mechanical engineering or anything like that. Robert Sungenis, BA, MA, PhD, geocentrist. Dr. E. Michael Jones, speaker at the 2010 conference on geocentrism. Gerardus D. Bow, PhD, former professor at the Baldwin Wallace University, geocentrist. Professor John Bill, PhD, geocentrist. Philip Stott, PhD, professor, geocentrist. In fact, according to Philip Stott here, there's another 200 impeccably credentialed academics and professors who also believe the Earth is stationary. They know perfectly well if they don't go the scientific uh, establishment line and they'll be chucked out. So it's very difficult these days to find out what scientists do believe. But I know there are a large number of scientists who are now coming to believe the Earth is stationary at the centre. I, I think 30 years ago there were about four. Now there are a few hundred well-qualified scientists who believe the Earth is the same. But, but those are just those who will admit it. <laughs> No academics who support the alternative view? Debunked. The fact that so many of them are questioning the official heliocentric uh, narrative ought to raise an eyebrow. So at least 200 professors and academics for a stationary Earth? I'd say, that adds credibility. Critics will say, hang on, most of those professors are Catholic. See? It's just another Jesuit conspiracy. No, some of those professors have been bashed around by the powers that be in a way that you would not believe. So it's not in any of their interests to dismiss the official heliocentric model, but they have. Personally, I think the professors are playing a sophisticated game here. They found a, a respectable halfway house where they can maintain some respectability in geocentrism. The ball earth theory is pushed way into the background of their theories and it's left up to you, the viewer, to connect the dots. Because a stationary earth lends itself to a flat one. So the professors are being very, very clever here and I'm just loving the dynamic of it all. They don't cite anybody with a background in, meteor in meteorology or physics or mechanical engineering or anything like that. Mm.